Introducing the most accurate and technologically advanced crossbow ever designed. Raven Crossbows. Welcome to Raven Crossbows. Hello, I'm Doug Guthrie, and on behalf of Raven Crossbows, I would like to thank and congratulate you on purchasing your new crossbow. Raven's revolutionary new concepts will give you the latest cutting edge technology for maximum accuracy, speed, and compact design. Please view all of the safety and instructional videos in conjunction with reading your owner's manual, knowing the safe, proper assembly, use, and maintenance of your Raven crossbow will ensure years of enjoyable use. Again, these videos are not a substitute for reading your owner's manual. Please remember to always keep safety in the front of your mind. I would once again like to thank you for your purchase, and we hope that these videos will help you become a more safe and proficient hunter. Product registration is for your safety and convenience. Unless you register your product, we will be unable to send you important updates about your crossbow. Please register your Raven crossbow by mailing using the enclosed registration card or online at www.ravencrossbows.com. Congratulations on purchasing your Raven crossbow. This crossbow is unlike any other crossbow before it, so whether you are an experienced crossbow shooter or have never handled one before, carefully read the entire manual and its warnings before use. We recommend wearing safety glasses when using or handling your crossbow. Before starting this step, please make sure that the crossbow is unloaded and uncocked. In this video, we're going to cover what comes standard in the box with your Raven crossbow. Let's go over the items. I've just taken all the items out of the crossbow box, so let's go over each component. First, you'll see your fully assembled Raven crossbow. Notice the warning labels on the guide and on the string. Please review those. Next, you'll see your Raven arrows with the Raven clip-on knocks. These are specifically designed for this crossbow. The instruction manual, which also includes your warranty registration card, make sure you send that in to us. Your crossbow scope, which includes the scope rings. Quiver. And the quiver mount. Field points for your arrows. and the Raven cocking handle. If for some reason you are missing any of these items, immediately contact Raven customer service. The contact information is in the instruction manual or on our website. Do not use your Raven crossbow until you have received all the components. Crossbows, like firearms, are dangerous if used incorrectly. We want you to operate your crossbow safely. Your crossbow is designed for hunting and target shooting only. Use for any other purposes can cause serious injury or death. We recommend that every hunter take a hunter safety course prior to use. Here are some simple safety guidelines to keep in mind. Your safety and the safety of others requires that you always remain aware of the danger involved in handling your crossbow. You are responsible for the safety of operating your crossbow. Always keep your crossbow in a locked cabinet or safe well beyond the reach of children. Do not attempt to assemble, load, or shoot your crossbow before reading your Raven Instruction and Owner's Manual. Never allow your crossbow to be used by anyone who has not read and understood this manual. Wear safety glasses when handling or using your crossbow. Your Raven crossbow contains a number of safety features designed for your safety. Do not make any modifications to your crossbow. Do not remove or deactivate any safety features on your crossbow. Look for and read the warning labels on your crossbow. Again, read your owner's manual before you attempt to use your Raven crossbow. Following the safety guidelines provided in this video in your owner's manual will help ensure that you operate the Raven crossbow properly. Practicing proper safety and shooting techniques will turn these basic guidelines into hunting habits that will promote your safety as well as the safety of others. In this segment, we're going to discuss some of the most common mistakes while operating your crossbow. The most common injuries sustained while operating a crossbow are to your thumb, fingers, and hand. 
Never allow your thumb or fingers to move above the crossbow shooting rail or into the string release path. Next, grasp your arrow directly behind the field tip or broadhead. The white color fletching must be positioned downward toward the rail at the 6 o'clock position. Doing so keeps your hands out of the bowstring path. Never allow your thumb or fingers to come within close proximity to the strings or cables. Keep your entire foregrip hand securely on the grip. When firing your crossbow, do not allow either finger or thumb to extend above the shooting rail into the string release path, which may result in serious injury, including amputation. Never carry or hold a cock crossbow by the rail at any time. Never walk, stalk, or hike with an arrow loaded in your crossbow. Fatal injuries can and have occurred. Never hand a cock crossbow by the rail to someone else. Doing so can expose your hand or someone else's to string release path and risk serious injury if the crossbow is accidentally discharged. Never hand a loaded crossbow to someone else. Doing so can risk serious injury if the crossbow accidentally discharges. Never point or aim a loaded crossbow at anyone. Risk of serious injury can occur if the crossbow accidentally discharges. Now we're going to demonstrate how to properly hand off your crossbow. The most important way to start is point your crossbow in a safe direction. You're going to hand it off by the forend and stock. The other party will receive the crossbow by the forend and stock. In this segment, we're going to discuss safety measures before you use your crossbow. Always inspect your crossbow before use. Check for worn or loose parts, such as the strings and cables, cocking strap. Always wear safety glasses when handling or using your crossbow. Always make sure you secure your hunting arrows properly in your quiver. Broadheads are razor sharp and can cause serious injury if not handled properly. Always use only 20 inch, 400 grain Raven branded arrows with the Raven clip-on knock required for this model of Raven crossbow. The Raven branded arrows are correctly weighted and include the required Raven clip-on knock. Arrows that do not meet Raven specifications may cause serious injury and damage your crossbow. Inspect all arrows prior to shooting. Look for damage to the knock and veins. Check for any splintering or cracking to the carbon shaft by flexing the arrow back and forth in your hand. Firing a damaged arrow can cause serious injury and damage your crossbow. Always keep your crossbow in a locked cabinet or safe well beyond the reach of children. In this segment, we're going to discuss some safety measures while in the field. Know your intended target and what is beyond it before pulling your trigger. An arrow can cause death or serious injury even beyond its effective hunting range. Be certain your backstop is adequate when target shooting. Always keep your crossbow pointed in a safe direction. Keep bystanders well behind you when shooting your crossbow. A malfunction of your crossbow can cause death or serious injury to bystanders. Require the bystanders wear safety glasses. Do not consume drugs or alcohol before or while using the crossbow. Your vision and judgment can be seriously impaired, making your handling of the crossbow unsafe. Ground blinds have become more popular with hunters than ever before. While using a crossbow in a ground blind, proper use and safety is very important. Never carry a loaded crossbow to and from your destination. Be sure that the crossbow is not loaded and uncocked, because you always want to practice safe handling. We highly recommend that you have your scope mounted at your local pro shop. However, if you elect to mount the scope yourself, please use the following procedure. And as a reminder, do not over tighten the screws to avoid damage of the scope. Doing so will void your warranty. So let's start with step one. Attach the bottom rings to the rail approximately in the position shown, taking into account the proper eye relief of approximately 2 to 3 inches from your eye to the eyepiece when holding the crossbow in the shooting position with the scope. Lightly snug the screws on the bottom of the rings so you can still adjust them on the rail. Step 2. Lay the scope in the bottom rings. Next, place the top rings on top of the bottom rings so the scope is surrounded. And then we're going to lightly snug up the screws on the top rings so you can still freely move the scope in the rings. Step 3. Before tightening the rings, look through the scope in your normal shooting position. Adjust the scope forward or backward until you find the furthest point forward to ensure maximum eye relief. You're looking for at least 2 inches from your eye 
and that allows you to see a full field of view. Step four, position your Raven crossbow as level as possible. Place a level on the limb mounts to confirm that the crossbow is level. Step five, remove the elevation turret cap and place a level on the elevation turret. Rotate the scope in the rings until it's level with the crossbow limbs. The horizontal reticle markings should be parallel with the crossbow limbs. In step six, tighten the upper rings, alternating between front and back screws, while still keeping an eye on your scope levels. Keep slightly tightening and alternating from front to back until secure. As a reminder, do not over tighten screws to avoid damage of the scope. Doing so will avoid your warranty. In this video, we're going to cover the proper mounting procedure for the Raven Quiver. We recommend wearing safety glasses when using or handling your crossbow. Before starting this step, please make sure the crossbow is unloaded and uncocked. The first step is to attach a mounting bracket to the bottom of your crossbow. Screw the mounting bracket into the hole on the bottom of the Picatinny rail with the slope surface on the mounting bracket pointing forward. To attach the quiver to the mounting bracket, depress and hold the thumb release on the mounting bracket. Position the posts on the quiver in the holes in the mounting bracket and the hood facing the front of the crossbow. Release the quiver catch to lock the quiver in the mounting bracket. Reverse the process to remove the quiver from the crossbow. The quiver can be mounted on either side of the mounting bracket. To attach a cocking handle to the mounting bracket, depress and hold the thumb release on the mounting bracket. Position the post on the cocking handle in the holes in the mounting bracket with the rotating handle facing the rear of the crossbow. Release the quiver catch to lock the cocking handle to the mounting brackets. Reverse the process to remove the cocking handle from your crossbow. The cocking handle can be mounted on either side of the mounting bracket. The Raven crossbow is designed to shoot only Raven branded arrows equipped with the Raven clip-on knocks. Point your cocked Raven crossbow in a safe direction when loading. Visually confirm that the safety is in the safe position. You will see the white dot. Make sure the knock and white fletching are properly oriented. Look down the length of the arrow with the white fletching pointed straight down. The knock opening should be horizontal. If the knock is not properly oriented, rotate the knock to the required position. Inspect the knock to ensure there are no chips or cracks. If the knock is damaged, do not use the arrow until the knock is replaced with a Raven clip-on knock only. Visually inspect each arrow for damage prior to shooting each time. Look for damage to the knock and veins. Check for any splintering or cracks to the carbon shaft by flexing the arrow back and forth in your hand. Firing a damaged arrow can cause serious personal injury and damage to your crossbow. In this video, we're going to cover the Track Trigger Firing System, TTFS, the safety and anti-dry fire features of the Raven crossbow. We recommend wearing safety glasses when using or handling your crossbow. Before starting this step, please make sure that the crossbow is unloaded and uncocked. The track trigger firing system that slides along the rail contains the safety and anti-dry fire mechanisms. Engaging the TTFS with the bowstring automatically activates the safety and the anti-dry fire mechanism. The safety is in the safe position, the white dot is visible. The trigger mechanism works in conjunction with the track trigger firing system. When the TTFS housing is in the rearmost position, the trigger mechanism is automatically engaged. The trigger pull on your Raven crossbow is a crisp two pounds, which is one of the lightest of any crossbow in the market. Consequently, the safety must always be in a safe position until you're ready to fire. The anti-dry fire mechanism will only disengage when a Raven branded arrow is fully inserted into the trigger mechanism until the knock clicks on the string. Flat, half moon, slotted moon, or universal knocks will not release the anti-dry fire mechanism. Knocking a Raven branded bolt on the string disengages the anti-dry fire mechanism. Sliding the safety to the fire position, which is the red dot, will allow the crossbow to fire when the trigger is pulled. In this video, we're going to cover safely cocking your Raven crossbow. We recommend wearing safety glasses when using or handling your crossbow. Before starting this step, please make sure that the crossbow is unloaded and uncocked. The VersaDraw cocking system is mounted internally in the stock and allows for easy cocking of your crossbow. When you first unpackage your crossbow, you will see a sticker that shows visually what it looks inside. If you are right-handed, make sure the rear grip 
is mounted on the left side of the stock. This grip can be switched to the other side for left-handed shooters. Remove the cocking handle from the mounting bracket by depressing the thumb release, placing the cocking handle head in the recessed hole on either side of the stock. Engage the slots on the cocking handle head to the pins for the drive shaft for a positive connection. There is a magnet in the cocking handle that will assist in holding the handle in place. Place the limb tip bumpers of the crossbow on the ground. Rotate the cocking handle forward slightly to release any tension on the cocking system. Depress the spool release lever. Caution, always maintain control of the cocking handle. Remove the cocking handle. While still holding the spool thumb release down with one hand, slide the track trigger firing system forward along the rail with the other hand until it's fully engaged with the bowstring. You'll hear a click to confirm that the string is engaged. The cocking strap will unwind from the spool as the string carriers move forward. The bowstring clasp will automatically close around the bowstring and the safety and anti-drive fire system will automatically activate. Visually confirm the safety is in the safe position, you'll see the white dot. Firmly grasp the crossbow rear grip and rotate the cocking handle forward to retract the TTFS toward the trigger. The spool ratchet will make a clicking sound as the cocking handle is rotated. Do not depress the spool thumb release during this procedure. Your crossbow is fully cocked when a clutch in the cocking handle slips and a clicking sound from the spool ratchet stops. Do not over crank. Disengage the cocking handle from the drive shaft and store on the mounting bracket. Do not place any part of your body into the bowstring path. Your Raven crossbow is now fully cocked and ready to load with a Raven branded arrow. In this video, we're going to cover safely uncocking the Raven crossbow. We recommend wearing safety glasses when using or handling your crossbow. Before starting this step, please make sure that the crossbow is unloaded. The VersaDraw cocking system is mounted internally in the stock and allows for easy uncocking of your crossbow. Point your Raven crossbow in a safe direction. Visually confirm the safety is in the safe position. You will see the white dot. Unload the crossbow before decocking your crossbow. Remove the cocking handle from the mounting bracket by depressing the thumb release. Placing the cocking handle head in the recessed hole on either side of the stock. Engage the slots on the cocking handle head to the pins on the drive shaft for a positive connection. There is a magnet in the cocking handle that will assist in holding the handle in place. Be sure you have a firm grasp of the rear grip and the cocking handle during the decocking cycle. Failure to do so can result in serious injury and malfunction. While applying slight rearward pressure to the cocking handle with one hand, depress the thumb release down with the other hand. The force of the drawstring will be immediately transferred to the cocking handle. Maintain a firm grasp on the cocking handle at all times as you decock your Raven crossbow. You can stop the decocking cycle at any time by releasing the thumb release. While continuing to depress the spool thumb release, slowly rotate the cocking handle backwards to move the string carrier forward until the bowstring contacts the string stops. The cocking strap will have some slack when the crossbow is fully decocked. Disengage the cocking handle from the drive shaft and store it in the mounting bracket. Your Raven crossbow is now safely fully uncocked. In this video, we're going to cover how to safely and properly load the cocked Raven crossbow. Never place your hand in the path of the bowstring. When loading an arrow, always keep your hand forward of the string stops. Next, grasp your arrow directly behind the field tip or broadhead. The white color fletching must be positioned downward toward the rail at the 6 o'clock position. Next, you'll insert the knock end of the arrow under the riser archway and into the center of the TTFS assembly until the Raven clip-on knock clips to the bowstring. You should hear an audible click. If the Raven clip-on knock is not fully clipped to the string, the crossbow will not fire. Center the forward end of the arrow on the arrow rest at the front of the crossbow. Your Raven crossbow is now fully loaded and ready to fire. Sliding the safety to the fire position, which is the red dot, will allow the crossbow to fire. Proceed with extreme caution. In this video, we will cover how to properly unload the Raven crossbow. Point your Raven crossbow in a safe direction when unloading. Visually confirm that the safety is in the safe position. You will see the white dot. Never place your hand in the path of the bowstring. Always keep your hand in front of the string stops. Next, grasp your arrow directly behind the tip and pull the arrow upward 
until the Raven clip on knock disengages from the bowstring and the arrow clears the archway bracket. Your Raven crossbow has now been unloaded and can be uncocked as explained in the video in the cocking and uncocking of your crossbow. In this video, we're going to cover properly aiming and shooting your Raven crossbow. As always, point the crossbow in a safe direction. Know what's in front and beyond your target. Select a proper target and backstop. If you're shooting the crossbow for the very first time, the shooting distance should be 20 yards or less. It is recommended to shoot the bow to start at about 10 yards and work your way back to 20. Determine the yardage to your target. The Raven scope has yardage compensation in the reticle that approximates the elevation adjustment based upon distance. Point your loaded and cocked crossbow toward the intended target with one hand in the foregrip, the other hand in the stock. Make sure that your hands and fingers are out of the bowstring path. Then lightly press the stock against your shoulder. When you're ready to fire, slide the safety forward to the fire position, which is the red dot. With the crossbow sighted in on the intended target, pull the trigger slowly and smoothly. If the crossbow fails to fire, return the safety to the safe white dot position. The most common cause of the bow not firing is the Raven clip-on knock is not properly seated on the bowstring. Double check that the safety is in position. You will see the white dot. Then grasp the arrow directly behind the tip and push the arrow rearward until the knock clicks onto the string. Attempt to fire the crossbow again. If the crossbow still does not fire, unload and uncock the crossbow immediately and contact our service department. In this video, we're going to review ocular lens adjustment, zeroing the scope, calibrating the scope to the crossbow speed, the illuminated reticle, and the maintenance of the scope. Carefully read the entire manual and its warnings before attempting to adjust your scope. Your Raven scope should be already be mounted. Always point the crossbow in a safe direction. Know what's in front and beyond your target. Select a proper target and backstop. And never look at the sun with a scope. It may permanently damage your eyes. Ocular lens adjustment. You need to adjust the ocular lens in your scope to match the characteristics of your eye. Hold the scope about two or three inches from your eye and look through the eyepiece at an object at, at a normal shooting distance of perhaps 30 yards away. If the reticle and the object are not sharply defined instantly, look through the scope and turn the eyepiece at the rear of the scope. If the focus becomes worse, turn it in the opposite direction. If the focus has improved but still not perfect, continue adjusting the lens until the reticle is clear and sharp. Now we're out at the range to zero in our Raven crossbow. We were in earlier, mounted the scope, checked our ocular lens to make sure the reticle was clear. So now what we're going to do for the zero is we're going to shoot at 10 yards, we're going to shoot it at 20, and we're going to shoot it again at 50. 50 is where we're going to verify that. Now we go in at 10 yards because we're not really sure exactly where the scope is, is uh, hitting, so we need to do that first. So we'll just uh, grab the crossbow and head out. We've moved up to 10 yards, we're getting ready to take our shot, just as a reminder, Make sure you know what's in front of your target, what's beyond, and always point your Raven crossbow in a safe direction. So what I'm going to do is uh, pull it up and take my first shot just to make sure we're close. As you can see, it's quite a ways out. I just finished making a quick adjustment to the scope. What we're trying to do here is just remember is just get it close. As you can see, I was quite a bit high and right. So I made the adjustments so we can get in there, get a little closer, because our goal is to zero at 50. So I'm going to take another shot and see if we got her in a little better. That's our goal. So now we're going to move back to 20. We just finished our 10 yard check. Now we're going to come back to 20. We're going to make sure that we're still close so we can do our zero at 50 yards. Well, we achieved our goal. Now it's time to go back and uh, go for our 50 yard zero. Now we're back at 50 yards. We've done our initial shots at 10 and 20 yards. And as you can see here, we are set up with a bench. 
to help hold the crossbow steady because it's very important we get our point of aim to match our point of impact. We were offhand down range at 10 and 20 yards just to get it close. It's very important that we get the zero to be exact and to match your point of aim and point of impact. We just zeroed our crossbow at 50 yards. Now it's time to move up to 20 to calibrate this scope to the speed of this model of Raven crossbow. We've moved our target back to 20 yards so we can continue to use our stable shooting platform. Next thing you're going to want to do is move your speed selector dial to the advertised speed of your Raven crossbow. Once you do that, you can take your first shot. Our first shot hit right where we aimed, so we've got our selector dial in the right position. Your Raven scope is equipped with a selectable red or green illuminated reticle. The illumination rheostat is located on the left side of the scope. Higher brightness settings are recommended for daytime use when ambient light is bright. At times of low light, such as dawn or dusk, a lower brightness setting is recommended. The lower settings may not be visible during bright daylight. Reticles are black in the red or green position or if the battery is defective. Raven illuminated scope models use a CR2032 coin style lithium battery. To insert a battery, unscrew the battery compartment cap on the top of the rheostat adjustment turret and insert a new battery, plus side up. Warning: Always hold onto the lower half of the rheostat when loosening or tightening the battery compartment cap to ensure that no damage is done. Care and maintenance of your scope. Your Raven scope is a precision instrument that deserves a high level of care. Do not attempt to disassemble or clean the scope internally. Store the scope in a dry environment. Never store the scope in places such as passenger compartments of vehicles on hot days. The high temperatures could adversely affect the lubricants and sealants. Keep the protective lens covers in place when the scope is not in use. The external lens coatings should be occasionally wiped clean with the lens cloth provided or an optical quality lens paper. Remove any external dirt with a soft brush to avoid scratching the lens. Unnecessary rubbing or use of a coarse cloth may cause permanent damage to lens coatings. To clean the external surface of the scope, it's recommended that a cleaning cloth is used to protect the scope against corrosion. In this video, we're going to cover the proper maintenance for your Raven crossbow. Regular inspection and maintenance will extend the life of your crossbow. Make sure that you always wear safety glasses while performing any maintenance on your crossbow. Always make sure the crossbow is uncocked and unloaded before you begin any maintenance. Always inspect your crossbow before use. Check for worn, loose parts. On your strings and cables, immediately replace any worn strings and cables. Use only Raven approved components. Raven recommends changing the strings and cables about every two years or 200 shots, whichever comes first. Another important maintenance item is waxing your strings and cables. To extend the life of your strings and cables, wax them every 75 to 100 shots or at the beginning of each shooting session if you don't shoot very often. This will help keep your strings and cables from drying out. Apply a liberal amount of wax and rub the wax into the strings and cables. Do not wax the center serving. Doing so can cause buildup of wax in the trigger mechanism, leading to a possible malfunction. Next, we'll move on to the cocking strap. Return your Raven crossbow to our service department to replace any damaged or worn cocking strap. Store your crossbow in a locked cabinet or safe located in a cool and dry location. Do not expose your Raven crossbow to extreme heat or cold. After using your crossbow in damp or moist conditions, dry it with a soft cloth. In this video, we're going to cover proper use of the Raven Press. Use only the Raven Press on your Raven crossbow. Do not use the Raven Press on any other crossbow. Improper use of this Raven Press can result in serious injury or death. The Raven Press was designed specifically
to compress the limbs of your Raven crossbow so you can change the strings and cables and unstring the crossbow. We recommend wearing safety glasses when using or handling your crossbow. Before starting any of these steps, please make sure the crossbow is unloaded and uncocked. Your Raven crossbow limbs can be compressed while the scope is mounted to the bow. However, for ease of use, we recommend you remove the scope from the scope rail. Step one, let's identify the four main components of the Raven press. The T-handle can be turned by hand with a half inch combination wrench or a half inch socket and driver. The stationary block remains stationary when compressing the limbs. A radius is cut into the block to hold the limb axle in place. The adjustment block moves within the channel on the rail as you rotate the T-handle. A radius cut in the block holds the limb axle mount. The rail guides the adjustment block. The cam axles on the crossbow slide within the channel when properly seated. Rotate the T-handle clockwise to move the adjustment block until it's at least 11 inches away from the stationary block. The T-handle can be turned by hand or a half inch socket and driver. Lay the Raven press on the table with the blocks in the upright position. Turn the crossbow upside down. Slowly move the front end of the crossbow between the stationary block and the adjustment block until the limb axle mounts are centered on the blocks. Lay the crossbow on the rail of the crossbow press. The cam axles should set inside the channel of the rail on the crossbow press. Slide the crossbow toward the stationary block until it touches, keeping the axles in the channel. The limb axle mount on the limb closest to the stationary block should seat into the radius on the stationary block. Slowly rotate the T-handle clockwise, sliding the adjustment block in until it contacts the opposite limb axle mount. Make sure the limb axle mount is centered on the radius of the adjustment block. Verify that the limb axles are in the channel on the rail. Rotate the T-handle slowly until the string and cables are loose enough to remove. Do not compress the limbs too far or damage to the crossbow may result. When changing strings and cables, be careful not to add or remove twists from the strings or cables during installation as this can be detrimental to performance and accuracy. Before you uncompress the limbs, make sure the strings and cables are in their grooves. To uncompress the limbs, simply slowly rotate the T-handle counterclockwise until the string and cables are at full tension. 